Good morning. Got some developing news. Um, after a couple of years working with my little utility trailer and RTT mounted on that trailer, uh, sold it. Um, decided to upgrade to a teardrop. So I've had to make some preparations for the car to um, to now tow the, the teardrop. The teardrop's uh, twice as heavy, plus a couple. So I had to make some refinements. All right, in preparation of our road trip to pick up our teardrop trailer, I've added this. I've already got the crossbars in here. But I've added this, this rack, uh, basically a piece of plywood with a frame on it, and attached it with zip ties. We're going to be running the refrigerator, ice maker, microwave available. Um, and I don't have a solar panel in my car. I do have these jackery panels that I haven't used. And they'll just fit on this rack that I built when the weather's nice and run the power cord from the box underneath here down into the jackery. So I'll have a solar panel to help charge my house battery. Uh, one of the improvements I made for the road trip. So the jackery panel, 100 watt panel, fits in the windshield. Uh, it's a rainy day. I couldn't put it on the rack I built on top of the car. And I thought, well, let me see what kind of juice I can get putting it inside the car. Very cloudy day, so I'm not getting any watts put in right now. But the rain, three watts, three and zero, three and zero. So not enough. I was getting 25 earlier on the cloudy, and the cloud rain's supposed to go away, so I'll be getting more in a little bit. I sold my uh, rooftop tent mounted on top of a utility trailer. That package was lightweight, easy to tow with my car, uh, but the tent, well, it was grand and I loved it. My wife wasn't as excited about the tent as I was. So we've agreed, she's invested in, we bought a teardrop trailer for to upgrade our camping experience, our uh, road trip um, shelter to, to be able to uh, use campgrounds. I had to make some improvements to the car including the trailer hitch. First of all, I had to add the seven pin harness with the brake adapter. I'll go over that in a minute. And then I needed, for the old trailer, I needed 15 inch ball height. I had that with the setup, close enough. The new trailer, I need 18 inch ball height, which is somewhere right in this range right here where my thumb's at. So, my first thought, of course, turn this thing over. But that wasn't tall enough. That, that was not tall enough at all. Then I went and bought this thing. Now this got me up to the 18 inches. And, well, with the kind of in the squat of the car, got me up there um, but look how far that thing sticks out from the car and the more leverage you put here you might as well increase the weight on your tongue because that's that much further from the axle so I had to go back to the drawing board this is just it would probably work but I thought I could do better got one back to the shopping and decide to get rid of this. Now this is a little heavier than I would like. That goes right there. And two inch ball on top. I think it's somewhere right in here. Now, we're not that far away. Yeah, that's 18 inches ball center right there. 18 inches and this part here can come off but this part is going to be stay locked on so that's how i'm uh improving my trailer hitch and keeping it lined up really close to the car well, as close as i can get that's uh, only 
six and a half inches away from the car now. The other one was like nine and nine and a half, something like that. That improves the stability of my toe and the weight distribution, uh, keeping the trailer level. In addition to beefing up the, the trailer hitch over here, so I have enough height, trailer height and our hitch ball height and close to the car. I also needed to also need to apply brakes. Now my car doesn't have a brake kit. I didn't want to hang underneath the dashboard or anything and didn't want to interfere with the car's electrical system at all. I already had a four pin wiring harness and I got a kit that to change it to a seven pin which also leaves me the four pin that came from uh, e-trailer. Actually all my trailer hitch stuff I got from e-trailer. They have this device, CURT, C-U-R-T. Um, it plugs into the seven pin. It's set up or controlled by your Bluetooth on your phone. Um, it takes, when you definitely go to their website and get the full scoop, I'm giving you my layman's interpretation. The power comes from the power wire coming from the battery. It knows when you're applying the brakes because when you hit the brakes, both turn signals come on at the same time. And that says, okay, now we got brakes. And then it's got a motion sensor in here. You can set the sensitivity and the gain, just like you can on a box that hangs underneath your dashboard if your car doesn't have trailer brake set up already, which mine doesn't. So I wanted the most efficient way to get trailer brakes, be able to apply the trailer brakes while I'm driving to be safe. Safety first. So this tool over here um, does that. You just need to plug it into the seven pin. It's got power. Well, it's brand new, so everything's a little bit stiff right now. But anyhow, it gets power to it. There's a strap that straps us safely so it doesn't fall out on you. And then your trailer wire, seven pin trailer wire plugs into here. So. When you go down the road, once you're set up, um, you hit the brakes, the motion sensor, the power sensor, translates that to a brake signal and, uh, output to the trailer, which applies the brakes to the trailer, and then you can change till you find that comfortable zone. Also, I ordered a little separate button. Um, it's in the mail. It's You can put that on your dash. It ties in there. So I don't have to have the phone turned on to this. I can use the phone for my maps and my, my other stuff but I can hit that button to apply the trailer brakes or a button on the phone through the app. So I thought this was really efficient and they they sell a bunch of them. Um, so it must be working for folks. I'll let you know once I get a test, but right now I'm just setting up for the road trip.